This is a review of the Casio G-Shock model DW5600E. This is the classic style of G-Shock. It's reminiscent of the uh, first G-Shocks that came out in the early 80s. This one has 200 meter water resistance. This one is not solar or um, it does not have atomic timekeeping. Uh, it's just a basic watch. I got mine for around uh, I think 35 or 40 dollars a few years ago on, on Amazon. It has a stainless steel screw down back. Uh, one, one problem people with uh, hairy wrists may have is that the hairs may get caught in these screws once in a while. That happens to me about once a month, but other than that, it's, it shouldn't be much of an issue for most people. It does have a resin band. And if you're careful with it, if like if you don't bend it, you know, to the max each time when you're taking it off, it should last a while. And, you know, like I said, I've had this for a few years and the band is still holding up quite nicely. This is a stainless steel buckle right here. Another issue with this watch is that the way the resin band fits flush with the uh, the back of the screw down case is that these rubber mounts can can bend like that and catch a hair and pull a hair so that's just one thing to be aware of. This one comes with the illuminator light you probably can't really tell too much but uh, because it's the daytime, but it, it has a nice uh, blue light to it. It has alarm, uh, timer, and stopwatch functions. What's convenient about this month is it tells the day of the week and the uh, month. So, you know, if you're filling out a form with a date, you can just, you know, glance quickly at this and uh, it helps you out that way. So altogether, it's a nice basic watch, and uh, I'd recommend you check one out and uh, you know get one where you can get the best price for it. It's a nice basic watch. Um, it's popular with uh, a lot of people in sports, and uh, this watch is a good uh, entry-level piece to the uh, G-Shock lineup, and uh, I recommend you check one out.